a solar flare update continuing the space weather forecast. Um, and it, uh, worth noting is on October 18th we had 10 solar flares. October 19th we had 8 solar flares and one was a, an X 1.10. Um, and what that means is it was an extreme solar flare. Uh, they're not sure if it's Earth directed yet, but uh, we'll find that out in a few days. Um, and that's from Region 2192, and I'll explain what that means in just a bit. On October 20th, we actually had 15 solar flares, and five of them were moderate class, which is in the middle. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this for you right here. And this is uh, the week, looking at the sun here. Um, this is Mercury here, the planet behind the sun. So just playing this, there's a, a few small solar flares. Um, not, mar not much worth noting right now, but I think the uh, 2192 region is over here on the left of the sun, um, Mercury yeah. behind the sun here. And as you said, the sun is very directed or directly correlated with what's going on with us. I, for me personally, I feel, I think that was the uh, X play right there. But there I, feel, was, yep. I feel like the... Um, the correlation is directly within our consciousness. I feel that the sun is our light. It is like kind of like connected to our 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 gateway or our stargate within our pineal gland. Um, and I feel that the center of the universe sends uh, its energy through every other sun, and every black hole comes out. So, what's going on with the sun is very uh, directly related with what's going on inside of our own minds. Um, so beyond that, it's coming up here towards the end, and I would like to show you the uh, 2192 region after this is finished playing, and Mercury is now going back to the, uh, behind the sun there, so it'll be in alignment with Earth and the sun. So now I'm just going to move on to show you the active region, 2192. And what that means is it's a sunspot, and sunspots are basically like openings in the magnetic force of the sun, so there's a lot of uh, energy that could come through. Um, one person said it's kind of like a, here's 2192 right here, that big giant um, yep. sunspot right there, and that's actually where all the solar flares are coming from. And we had about... 30 plus of them in the last few days, so a lot is going on. Um, so the sunspots are just cooler regions of the sun's surface, and that's uh, there's an opening in the magnetic force to where um, mis protons and ions can escape from the sun and actually go towards Earth, and it affects our uh, satellites, it affects our magnetic force, and it affects us as well emotionally. So that is my space forecast for the week, and I'm going to hand it over to uh, Shannon with her forecast. 